So then the question now becomes, what do you expect next out of both teams? I want to park Vancouver here for a second. You mentioned Hannafin a couple of seconds ago. We wonder about Kristanov uh, as well with this team and players that are available. Uh, is it just a matter of, listen, Craig Conroy is open for business, and if he has players on expiring contracts, he's more than willing to listen because they are in sell mode right now. Yeah, I, you know, look, I, I think he's still got – uh, three more pieces here that at least that we have to deal with. Number one is Tanev. Um, you know, Ottawa took their run at Tanev. I, I don't see that happening this season, but I don't think it's impossible if he goes unsigned in the summer that um, Ottawa takes a run at that. I, you know, I, I think it's really interesting. I mean, there were some reports last night that, um, you know, Tanev could have been included in the Vancouver deal. Uh, I, I'm not saying they're yeah. wrong. I just, I just never heard it in this particular case. I think, actually, I shouldn't say that. What I would say is I think that, like the Canucks kind of said, what if we wanted to include Tanev in this deal? And I just don't think it was a price that they were going to be able to pay. Like it was probably going to be another first rounder, right? And I just don't think the Canucks were going to be able to do that. But, I, you know, I, I do think that, no. This is something that will get revisited uh, in the off season, potentially by Vancouver. I think there's something that could get revisited in the off season by Ottawa, but who's there now? And I think there's a few teams there now, but you know, one of the, uh, one of those teams I think that's lurking is the biggest hockey team in the NHL. And uh, Jeff, mm. they, they play just South of the, palatial america state and uh, i'm still wondering <laughs> i i said yeah. i said a while ago that he is their target until he's not available and i still believe that to be the case and he might not be the only one there well i was going to say would he would there be one target on calgary for brad for living or maybe two knowing how he feels about his blue line um well you know the thing about hannafin is like, Hamilton's got to make a decision. Um, I do believe that uh, I, I do believe that Calgary would like to keep him. Um, you know, I mean, it depends. There's, there's two things here. There's number one is um, what does Hannafin want? And number two, you know, what becomes available for him? And uh, I do think Calgary has made it very clear they'd like to keep him, both in words and what they've offered. I think Hannafin has to make a decision. And, you know, I, I think the other thing that does, knowing that the, you know, the Flames have made him a, a very generous offer, is what does that do to other teams out there that like him? Because I think there are some. So, so I think the, Han the Hannafin sure. situation is as much in his hands as it is in others. And Markstrom, you know, I, like, I'm, I, have, I have no doubt teams have asked you know my position on this. I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm just saying that you've really got to make the Flames want it to happen to even go through the pain yeah. of going to him.